My local supermarket is selling airplane food because nobody is flying. The taste of thin air, more like the taste of like Gabo, dude. That looks awful. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on a plane. I don't know if they've actually fixed the airline food. And in truth, Mr. John Seinfeld himself never told me what actually the deal was with airplane food. So I can't validate the quality, but this just looks like nasty. I mean, it's probably a wonderful way to get that product to like be eaten and not go to waste. So I applaud that. That's good. That's fine. But <laughs> it's just straight up and down, though, just like straight up and down. This looks rancid. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvis. My name is Lumo, and today we are looking at r slash mildly interesting, a subreddit dedicated to things that just kind of make you go, huh, all right, <laughs> let's just get right into it. This house near me looks like it's out of a fairy tale. That is definitely one heckin' fairy tale house, and it is angering the hell out of me. <laughs> it's very well constructed, it's looking its part well, and honestly, looks quaint. It looks nice, and it appears to have home security. Also a wonderful touch, so no one steals your pot of gold and other such relics. But simultaneously, I hate how those two windows are on like the, the rightmost pointy bit, like near the roof. I just I don't know why that bothers me so much, but I want I want them to have symmetrical counterparts and that's not even like a thing that can happen realistically, but ape brain demands and ape brain requires. Perfect snowflake I got on my sleeve this morning. Man, it's so weird to think about how often we see snowflakes depicted like this, because that is one perfect snowflake. But how in reality they're often just like sad mushy lumps like you can see literally everywhere else on this photo. Like we always display it as the perfected one in like cartoons and media when it is so rarely the case. Maybe this is just a little bit of like confirmation bias because I only ever remember snowflakes in movies when it's like right in front and I'm like, ah oh, yes, the quintessential perfect snowed flake. Perfectly symmetrical in all aspects, angular too. But like, then something like Frozen does that at the start and then the rest of it's just like sad lumpies and I don't even think about the sad lumpies until just now where I needed something to disprove my case. I'm just saying, all snowflakes are beautiful. My dad put food coloring on icicles. Yo, that's a good idea, actually. I really like this. I feel like I don't know why or what would have possessed your dad to do this, but like, it's a wonderful idea. That's actually really pretty. I don't know why my ape brain like a color so much, but when color on thing not color, me go ook ook nice. <laughs> me go ee ee poo like the colors. No, Facebook not now. Yeah, something about the colors just makes my ape brain go ee ee poo. Like, it's just so good. It's just so good. I, look. There's a massive icicle hanging off my house, and I got a lot of food dye we're not using. And I think I know what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. My, clean my copper sink with vinegar and sea salt. A few hours later, these salt crystals grew on the rag I used to dry it. That's a neat chemical reaction, but I hope that's actually salt and it's not like... <laughs> crystallized chlorine or something. Do you guys remember that post that was floating around 4chan that was like homegrown crystals, but it was a recipe for mustard gas? <laughs> and like so, some horrid soul made the infographic and then some poor soul accidentally did it, not heeding the warnings of the thread pointing out exactly what it was. That was a weird, that was a weird internet story that I just kind of have in my head. But I hope I'm not the only one who remembers it. Oh, apparently it's a medieval pigment called verdigris. Take your crystals, grind them and mix them with oil or egg tempura to get like Michelangelo time paints. And it is toxic. No, yeah, I was right. The crystals are toxic. The wine I ordered came with a tiny set of dice packaged inside a hollow cork. That's really stupid and I love that. I want that. I want those baby dice. And they are plain adorable. They're itty bitty dice things for the halfling in your DND party to roll their damage. I don't know why, but like, I, I can't fathom the logic behind including these, but I just kind of love it. I just kind of find it fun that it exists like this, and it makes me happy on the inside. I wonder if these are rigged? I wonder if you use these to smuggle in rigged dice. So cold outside, my doorknob frosted. Yikes, my dude, that's heat escaping. That's, 
honestly kind of cool though. It's gotten that cold here a couple of times and I'll notice like the inside of my windows frosting a little bit and that always concerns me because I'm like, is this like the day after tomorrow? Is my life going to end 15 seconds from that? Am I going to freeze to death? And the answer is no, obviously not. The, the day after tomorrow was like the eye of the storm is negative like 50 Celsius or something. It was obscene, but God, this is always terrifying when you see it and then you touch the door and be like, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, in the top comment, if I learned anything from the day after tomorrow, it's that if you touch it, it will suck all of the heat out of you and you will freeze to death almost instantly. Not from the movie. I also learned that English has a simple word for the day after tomorrow. Overmorrow. Yo, let's bring back Overmorrow and let's bring back Fortnite. Not the game, the word that's about, about two weeks. The people who made my guitar pick couldn't be bothered to buy the stock photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is this a little itty bitty baby eye stock photo in there? Oh my god, it's a shutter stock. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. But the top comment is like, no, they're just advertising for them, you dummy. <laughs> If you're gonna steal, at least be good at stealing. Come on, there's like one rule. There's like one rule. My flatmate and I took nearly the same photo walking home at different times. That's honestly kind of cool. But if you guys take the same route, that kind of checks out. But it is amazing at the fact that the angle is almost completely identical, but just off enough to be human error, which, you know, very Gucci, very cool. This is really neat. Like this is an intersection of a lot of different creatures. And I think one of them is a bunny, judging by the dragged trails, which is the, probably the most important animal that could have possibly crossed through here. But like you got the little ducky, you got another little ducky, you got what I'm going to assume are chipmunks. Like it's it's cute. It's a nature intersection and I'm here for it. My teacher made Pokemon animal type of cards for science. Okay, punctuation. My teacher made the Pokemon animal type of cards for science. Okay, so I'm going to have to interpret this. I think what they're saying is the teacher made Pokemon cards of different animals for their science class. I think. I'm taking a guess, because I don't know what scientific theory these would disprove or prove. But straight up and down, props to your teacher. Like, this is a wonderful way to try and get kids more involved in the classroom and make them care a little bit more about their actual, like, you know, their actual study materials. I really approve of this. Something about this is just pure and wholesome, and I love it. It Like, it's got the diet, the, the hippie teat, the average lifespan. Like, this is good. This is wonderful information, and I hope to goodness it helps some kid with their test. Also, top comment, your teacher is a god among mortals. Yes, yes they are. The pattern the ice left on my grill. Oh man, I something in me says I know what causes this, but something else in me says you're probably wrong. Like, th this looks like an embroidery, but I'm pretty sure this is actually what happens when the metal is treated for the heat? You can hear the confidence in my voice, I'm not fully sure on that, but I know that a uh, treated metal can get weird patterns like this, and if it's something that needs to be weather resistant and heat resistant simultaneously, it would probably get some kind of treatment. So I'm placing a little bit, like maybe like 15 cents on this one, saying like this is probably a byproduct of like it being treated and that's just how like the oils lay on it or something, like something like that. That makes the most sense to me. Uh, I need to understand. Comments, 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 give me answers. Uh, apparently it's called dendritic patterns. Okay, it's a branching pattern, yes. But, like, why though? I'm not getting any answers. <laughs> I'm not getting any answers out of the comments. The shadow on the stairs looks like another set of stairs. Oh. Oh, we're looking at the stairs from the side. Oh, I thought those were the stairs and we were at an aerial three fourths. Oh my goodness, that would, if I was drunk, I would be trying to walk up the side and be super confused. That's really cool. I mean, like sometimes mildly interesting goes above and beyond mildly interesting and it's something really cool. And other times it's stuff like this, which is really banal, but I'm giving it meaning because I think it's really cool. 
I love, I love this subreddit. This is a neat sub. The lighting from my keyboard formed a little hard on my glass. And then other times you do get stuff that's just mildly interesting. Also, Corsair K, what is this, 95? K95 gang, rise up. We got the same keyboard, Holmes. Just as dusty too. <laughs> That is really cute, though. I, I I think that's just how, like, I, I just think this is really cool. It's probably the light reflecting off the water onto the cup or like something like that. Some weird bending of the light based off the curvature of the glass. I'm spitballing here. I don't, I'm not into laser dynamics. I think this is really cool and really cute. And also, again, Corsair gang rise up. My nine year old daughter noticed pixel earbud packaging makes a great 3D alien. That's incredibly pure and I love it. That's that's so cute. I mean, it does look like a little alien, so I'll, I'll, I'll give her that. That's 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 wonderful. That's absolutely precious. That's all I have to say on that. We're moving on. Ice spikes growing on a truck's antenna. OK, now, how does this one happen? Like the other one I can kind of like spit at, but this one I can't. How, what, how does it form upwards in a spire? Like down I can understand because it's almost like an icicle, but a little bit of a slope. But this I just don't get at all. I just don't get this at all. And you know what? I like it. I'm mildly interested. And that's all the time we have here today on Calbase. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe share it with a friend who could use something just kind of interesting, but like not enough to distract them. If you do want more r slash mildly interesting, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calvis video. Have a great rest of your day.